A banging, well-executed guacamole is one of my favorite things. And as a self-professed guac snob, I can assure my fellow foodies, this recipe will not disappoint. Here's what you need. Four avocados, one third cup chopped cilantro, one and a half limes, a half of a large tomato, a half of a jalapeno, two tablespoons of red onion, one tablespoon onion powder, one teaspoon sea salt, one teaspoon cayenne pepper, and one teaspoon tagine. Your avocados are ripe when they are black, squeezable yet still firm, and when the stems are extended, as you can see here. To slice into your avocados, all you need is a butter knife. Cut the ripe avocados straight down the center, then peel them apart. This avocado is pretty much perfectly ripe. Next, grab a bowl in which we will assemble our guac. There are two easy ways in which you can remove the avocado from its skin. The first is to use a spoon, which you'll drag around the edge of the avocado to scoop it out. If you don't mind getting your hands dirty, and if your avocado is truly ripe, you can just use your fingers to remove the large seed and then peel the avocado's flesh away from the skin. Once all four avocados are peeled and added to the bowl, it's time to squeeze the limes. We will add the juice of one and a half limes. Fresh lime juice is critical to guacamole, so don't skip it. It's the lime's citric acid that keeps the avocado nice and green and not turning brown. Next, we'll chop our herbs and veggies and add them to the bowl. Chop and add one third cup of fresh cilantro, then we'll use one half of a large tomato. Chop and add it to the bowl. Next is the jalapeno pepper. We'll use one half of it because my kids are eating this and I don't want mine too spicy. We'll de-seed first, then chop. You can opt to use the whole pepper if you want more heat. Next, we'll add about one quarter of a red onion. After peeling the onion, chop it up finely and add it to the bowl. We'll use two generous tablespoons of this onion. This is what we're working with once all of the veggies and herbs have been added to the bowl. And it's now time to add our spices. We'll use one tablespoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of sea salt, one teaspoon of tagine, or a Cajun seasoning works well, and optional but wonderful, a Goya veg packet. Once all of the spices are added, all that's left is to combine all the ingredients. I'm gonna use a whisk to break up the avocado and mash it well into the herbs, veggies, spices, and lime juice. Your goal is not to whip this smooth, rather you just wanna mix and combine everything so that the ingredients are well dispersed. The end result should be a guacamole that's a little chunky, a little rusty. At least that's how I prefer mine. And we're finished. Guacamole, fresh with texture that adheres to tradition while also bringing flavor, spice, and zest. Hosting an event? Present this with a sprinkle of chopped cilantro on top, and you can add a whole jalapeno. Serve this with tortilla chips, or use it for the best kind of avocado toast. Adding bacon doesn't hurt. Bon appetit. Next week, top requests including fried green tomatoes and a rum-glazed oxtail plate that delivers big flavor. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, please give it a thumbs up, comment, and be sure to subscribe. Recipes posted weekly. To see what I'm cooking daily, tips, and other fun content, join me on social media. I'm at Omni Enthusiast on IG, Facebook, and at OmniEnthusiast.com.